it, of course. Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for coming and joining me on the floor of my Star Wars room. Um, wanted to put together a bit of a video, I just wanted to go, look, I was taking a look at the vintage collection and just sort of, you know, just sort of looking at the line as it's sort of, you know, it, we're getting into nearly 200 uh, single carded releases for the line. And I decided to go back and have a look at what came before, back in 2010 through 2012, late 2012, maybe early 2013, by the time that last wave came out. Um, and I decided I wanted to do like my 10 favorite figures from that period of time. So before it came back in 2018. Um, so I've picked 11 figures. <laughs> I've cheated. I've gone with an honorable mention for one of them. Um, so in front of me, I have actually have all the card backs minus one. Um, I'm not sure what happened to that one. I do keep a big crate of card backs. And uh, yeah, I couldn't locate one of them. So... That's okay, I'm going to be showing off each each one. And uh, first off, the one that is missing a card back is my honorable mention, so it worked out okay. And it is Aura Singh. Uh, absolutely fantastic figure. Um, I should specify that I tried to get 10 figures that haven't been re-released in the vintage collection. Um, there's a lot of repacks that have sort of happened over the last year or two. Um, there's been a few repack waves, so I wanted to try and steer clear from that um, and go to some figures that, you know, probably wouldn't hurt to be re-released. And this is probably one of them, uh, given that she's getting a Black Series release very soon, um, which that figure looks absolutely stunning. Uh, the Vintage Collection one is, you know, it's really nice. I think one piece is missing from it, and that is articulated ankles. Um, but I'm assuming they probably just used use those legs from an older figure. I'm not sure which one. I, did, I can't remember going and researching that. I, I very well could have back in the day because um, we're talking nearly 10 years ago since this thing came out. So that is my honorable mention. So let me just go to my... Again, these aren't in necessarily any order. So I'm just going to go with the order my, I've got the cards stacked at. Ayla Secura. From Revenge of the Sith, really nice card back. I actually have another one of these carded, um, which I'm saving for someone. <laughs> we just need to just need to work out. Here. I didn't realise how much this one was fetching these days carded. Um, I did a little bit of digging, and uh, you know, I, I found out this is worth quite a bit now for some reason. Um, really great figure. Really nice. I'd love to see this one get a Black Series release, but this is the uh, definitive three and three quarter inch Ayla Secura in my opinion. I'm just making sure it's uh, kind of focused there on my camera. So hopefully, hopefully you can see that okay. But yeah, she's absolutely fantastic. I love this figure a lot. And she was number VC58. That feels like a long time ago. That's probably because it was. <laughs> so next up, we have VC70 Ponda Barber, Walrus Man. Now, technically, this guy did get re-released into the Black Series, um, Black Series line 2014, 2013, 2014, um, when, they, when they kicked off the three and three quarter inch Black Series. So this guy did get a re-release. Um, and that was one of the most sought after figures from the vintage collection for quite a long time. Um, even uh, even when he was released, um, it was released in a sort of a small wave with Bastilla Shan and that uh, Re rebel soldier there from Hoth. Um, and they, they were very, very short packed basically. Um, there weren't many of them around. That 501st Trooper is the only, one of the only ones I don't have. I think that's 501st, yeah. So yeah, Ponda Barber, great figure, um, great display options for this one. He came with his sort of more humanoid hands and um, yeah, also came with um, his flippers. So that's a, he's, he's an awesome figure. He also had a detachable arm. <laughs> 
which is which was absolutely great. I love that. So that's a Ponda Barber. Great figure. Definitely recommend finding this one. All right, just had to get a charger for my camera. It was starting to go flat. So the next one, we have VC-54 Arc Trooper Commander. And this to this day is still probably one of the most sought after um, figures in the vintage collection. Uh, simply because he was kind of short packed. Uh, again, they didn't seem, it was either that or they just, they were really, really popular because he had the phase one and phase two um, versions that you could set him up as. Um, I've of course stuck with the phase two with this one and uh, I was able to get a second one at one point uh, but I believe I may have traded that off to help another collector at the time um, but yeah that's that's one I can't actually remember what happened but um, you know would have loved for this guy to get a re-release you know even as Captain Fordo on a different card giving his phase two look they don't have to release the same thing but yeah absolutely amazing amazing figure even even the phase one look is brilliant which I do still have all the accessories and stuff so I could switch that up but for this video no I'll just leave it so next one on the list is an odd one um, an odd card choice I'd say more than anything it is Kit Fisto from Attack of the Clones, although the figure is technically from Revenge of the Sith. So I know, I remember Hasbro brought this up at one point um, and they did say they were going to correct the card at some point, but they obviously never got around to it. Um, so here's VC-29. And that was Wave 4, um, which was all Attack of the Clones. See how these figures there on the back. Some great figures in that one. That Anakin has just been re-released. So the figure, yeah, again, he has that Revenge of the Sith sort of look because Kit Fisto did change a lot between two and three. Um, I've got my own little head cannon as to why that is. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's um, just something I've made up in my head. But I think this is easily one of the best figures. It's just you know, the head tails, all of that looks fantastic. He's got the robe. He has ball jointed hips underneath. Um, yeah, it's definitely been a long time since we've seen a Kit Fisto figure being released. And I don't think a lot of people would complain if this guy got a re-release, put on a Revenge of the Sith card and boom, you've got something new. So yeah, really, really nice figure. I love this one a lot. Alright, next one up is VC-24 Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> um, this, to this day, is still probably one of the most amazing vintage collection and three and three quarter Star Wars action figures. Um, I remember come, this wave, in particular, this is wave three of the vintage collection back in 2010 slash 11. Um, actually, just sort of read on the back here. 2010, yeah, there would have been 2010. I remember this Wave 3, actually, whoever was running the Star Wars side of Hasbro Australia at the time, forgot to order it, so we didn't get it for quite a while afterwards. And I remember just, they, they were so, they were coming, coming to stores and they were gone really quick. I remember going to a Kmart and finding um, this one and Admiral Akbar, and I think, I can't remember. This one and Admiral Akbar I remember buying at the same time from a Kmart. So some other figures. The Yoda post change, because they did release it first on an Empire card, even though it was a prequel Yoda. Luke also got a uh, incorrect card because they put him on Jabba's Palace card. And the others the others were fine. So that's another great one. Uh, where is he? Right here. So this guy spends his time on the top of Jabba's sail barge now. And uh, yeah, it's it's one of the best. If there's one thing Hasbro have done really well, it's some of these um, skiff guards and Jabba's goons. And the fact that he had like a little woolly, woolly sort of skirt thing was just super duper cool. Really different. 
really really nicely detailed this one all over fantastic and did I say what VC he was yeah 24 so real early days of the vintage collection and yeah still still one of the best So next up on the list is VC21, the Gamorrean Guard. Um, this one has come in first place for me for such a long time and I still think it would be my favourite uh, vintage collection and action figure. Black Series version of the Gamorrean 2 does uh, take a pretty high place on my list. Um, so yeah, this guy did get a re-release. This was part of a re-release wave. Um, I do remember um, they did they did repacks back then, believe it or not. <laughs> they did re-release figures, but they, uh, you know, they were still on the same cards and everything. So, a little bit different to what they do now. But as you can see, there were the other figures that were sort of. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, maybe maybe they put this one out again with a new wave. I can't actually remember. It's uh, some other figures on the back, but yeah, really really nice one. Uh, I managed to get three of this one. I know this one has been re-released. Uh, in recent years, um, but it's just too good not to not to add to the list. I just couldn't couldn't leave him out. So, the Gamorrean Guard. He also came with a couple of axes. Just a solid solid figure, one for the ages. Um, you know, he's definitive. You won't get better than this. Absolutely fantastic. Beautiful figure. All right, so next one is VC12. So we're going back to the second wave, and uh, it's Darth Sidious. And I've got this on the foil chase. Uh, I probably didn't understand the importance of the whole foil thing uh, back when these were coming out, either that or I just didn't care. Um, but I'd recently sent, I had another one carded that it wasn't the chase one, and I recently sent that off to. Uh, uh, Nick has, aka only one Kenobi, so he has that proudly on his wall. Um, I knew it was going to a good home, so um, yeah, this is a this is a nice card. I do, so I did get a couple of the foils, and uh, you know, hindsight is annoying because I probably would have kept it carded and nice, minty, clean back if I had my time again. But a uh, great card, great image. Revenge of the Sith looks great. Going back and showing some of the other figures that were coming out at the time in comparison with their uh, earlier counterparts. So the figure is. Oh, I fell off. Excuse me for a second. Yeah, just fantastic. I love this one. The soft goods down the bottom, a dark sort of brown robe. These days I think they'd probably do it all black. Oh, that's an awkward pleat. <laughs> and his trousers there. So I just, just twisted around just because it was on the side. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look at that head sculpt. Zoomy, zoomy. Yeah, I have reviewed these figures over the years, but the uh, the camera quality wasn't what it is today. So, yeah, absolutely awesome figure. I have this one battling Yoda. It's part of that Senate duel. Yeah, really great figure. Darth Sidious, newly crowned Emperor. So now we have VC01. This is the one that started it all and uh, still reigns pretty supreme in my opinion. It is Dengar. VC01. You know, they kicked off this with uh, Empire Strikes Back. It was the 30th anniversary at the time, 2010. Um, yes, yeah, so the first wave was all Empire. You know, Cloud Car Pilot Boba Fett has seen numerous re releases. Bespin Luke's seen a re release. Uh, Hoth Leia, I think, has seen a re release. 3PO has been re released. <laughs> um, Dengar has not. Had a, a re-release since, but uh, I dare say he'd be in the running because he's a is an absolute cracking figure. Way back to the start, 
and uh, much like the uh, Black Series counterpart, which is now really difficult to get. I'm not sure how hard this one is to get um, these days, but uh, yeah, he's uh, absolutely cracking, cracking action figure. Backpack, got all the details. He's got that sort of hunched shoulder. Yeah, fantastic. He looks great. All right, two left. Two left. All right, so we're going straight into the expanded universe with this one. Shea Vizsla. And this is a uh, expensive figure to get now too. This is VC 101. So we've gone from 01 to 101. 100 figures later. And uh, yeah, this is this one was freaking fantastic. She came with two head sculpts. So um, the other one's in the accessory box. But I just, I've kept her displayed with the helmet for a number of years. Um, and the head sculpt underneath was quite good. Well, the switch out, because they didn't have a helmet, head, head sculpt underneath. Um, you had to switch out the helmet. And that was pretty brilliant. Um, the only issue I've had with this one is uh, her blasters sit quite loose in her hands and there isn't really anywhere to uh, hold them. She does have this sort of strapping on the side there and you can sort of tuck them in there a little bit, but it's not secure like a proper holster would be. But uh, yeah, that armor is sweet. The jetpack. Yeah, she's an absolute highlight of some of those, um, couple of those, or one of those um, Old Republic videos. Rewatched them the other day. So you're yeah, joining in with the uh, battle with the Sith against the Jedi in the Jedi Temple. Freaking badass. Really, really cool. So, last one. And this is one I still have a nice, reasonably minty card. It's unpunched. It's not super great, but it is Darth Malgus. Character debut. I feel like this is, we're putting the sticker on the bubble is what they should be doing today with like retro figures and anything else. But I've got this in a nice case just to protect it. Keep it for that little bit longer. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice, nice figure. Uh, this one was really, really popular when it came out. Darth Malgus was highly sought after, and I remember for some reason my supermarket, a supermarket, Woolworths, uh, I remember coming across like two or three of them in one day, so I snatched them up. Um, kept one for myself, uh, did, probably did some trading um, for, for the others. And uh, yeah, this one, I've kept carded. Not the most beautiful condition, but it's uh, it's it's good enough for me. I like the artwork. I like the figure in the package. Uh, VC ninety six. A pretty outstanding wave of figures there. I remember that one well. So yeah, awesome stuff. Let's take a look at the figure. Yeah, he's he's tough. This one, I like him a lot. Need to get him out for some toy photos. It's been a long time. It was kind of a bummer that they never really took much of a deeper dive into the old Republic with action figures and stuff because it's um, a popular game for a really long time. And I believe it still is to a lot of a lot of Star Wars fans out there. Really, still love the big M MMO game. Um, there's still lots of updates happening all the time. As far as I know, it's been a long time since I've really um, followed it and seen what's going on. But uh, that lightsaber hilt, awesome. But yeah, he was a total badass. There would have been so many other figures they could have done. Satil Shine is one I would have loved to have seen. Being that we have Darth Revan and Bastila, it'd be great to see their daughter. And a few of the other characters from these video games, video game trailers would be sweet. So uh, yeah, Darth Malgus rounds it out. Yeah, I just love looking at that figure. So good. All right, folks, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I know this is, wasn't really a top 10, but it was my 10 favorite plus an extra one. So 11 favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just wanted to do this and, you know, just a chance to reminisce about some cool old figures. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you stick around, hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And hit the little notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And that would be fantastic. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Till my next one, may the force be with you always.